Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there... Like, doing stuff. I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. It's like... it's not locked. There's, like, something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, what do you think? Keep looking? I think... we should keep looking. You're probably right. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the- Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been like a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors, like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't be locked. Come on. Well... We didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. There must have been something, right? It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. He'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. It was practically an arranged marriage. Huh. In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No... We need, like, bolt cutters or something. Or the code. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Don't just leave me here, Jonas! Wait! Can you hear me?
outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. The door opened like a second ago. Can't you... Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When Jonas gets on your... A case about his mom? Just do what you feel is best, okay? What is this? What is this? What does this mean? Who who are you? I I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird Okay, what just happened? Cause that that sucked. It's a... I guess a one-way lock? I just wish one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. On Sunday. Oh, here's the code for the... Uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice. It seems alright now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. It didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... You have to be joking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is, like, way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... Hey, what was that? That sounded like a door. Is somebody out there? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having, like, a Ren episode. A renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. Yeah, actually, it's kind of obvious that that's what's probably happening, isn't it? Oh, the handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind? What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. Orderly! Orderly! 
high in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Ah. They're talking about... it's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this, this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? Ten. we're standing in? Is Nine. This like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a... Our friends are finding this tough. Do you think us cruel? Do you think us callous? Yeah? Yeah, you're being really mean right now. Why are you doing this? Why is... Anything? Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, come on, guys. This isn't exactly fair now. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who know that? This isn't you called codes. Cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Okay, look. Is this a trick? Is whatever I'm gonna say gonna bite me in the ass no matter what? Because if that's the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. <sighs> Whatever. We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, what the hell are you talking about? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. And how would Nine. To sail them? Above Eight. all victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing times, Six. the changing world. Five. Four. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I didn't need to take that ball. United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Why are you here? Was it something we... What a question. Never left. What are you? And the panic of the... Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic.
back. What? I... that was... not fun. Just take it slow and easy. You've just had... an experience. Yes. Yes. Very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... What? Uh, huh? Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa... Oh my... I thought you said you were coming to help me. Where have you been? It couldn't possibly have taken this long to walk from the tower to here. I've been sitting, fumbling around with this stuff. I don't know how to work this crap. Look, I know I told you we'd come here, and you know what? We did. We're here. Ta-da. But Ren got himself stranded in the woods. You so... went to get Ren first? Why would you do that? I'm sorry, but he's like the most useless one. He's like the... the... the bassist. Clarissa, relax. Clarissa, look at us. We're here, all right? We came. What more do you want? Nothing, okay? Nothing. You did it. I'm sure your parents are proud. I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... this is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way... Really officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, not now! We're... we're looping again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Is there anything like... can we cut her down with something? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is Clarissa? I would have swore she was... in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so we should be home free. It's not going to work, Jonas. Huh? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already... just... it's okay. Knock yourself out. Clarissa! Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. She's like... I never forget she's that like I Ren an was. American, what is she freedom. doing? There will be other ships. And other souls to sail them. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not in, it's not like we're, oh, God! This is just, I just, I never, I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them, I mean, this, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow, um. There's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. That was... Wait, she... she's... Uh... I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no breaking that fall, so... How'd she walk away? This... isn't possible. Cause... unless... She did just go through a... Uh, sort of a... temporal anomaly... a... a time... Thing? Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless, good news? 
Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Up, see how they're doing. Yeah. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Anything uh, good to report? Besides that you're still alive, which I'm glad. You know, don't get me wrong. Thanks. Um, yes, I am still alive, but, uh, no. Other than that, no. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to, and I only spent- Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, alright? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down... You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... That's not nice. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Uh, yeah. Look, we... we tuned into something in the cave, and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, well, so... Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but... What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. Uh, oh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something cool. A phone. 
Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. But Ren, look at reality. You dragged us out here. You had Alex bring the little... death machine. Stop saying it was my fault. It wasn't. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a... productive. It should be obvious, to even the cheap seats, that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex Guys, no you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like, harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is Guys, my- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You... Just uh shut up. Both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Jonas, let's go. Ah, oh, thank you. What?! First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Rin, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, we're still... we're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like... like... I want to be like... needed. Just... Just... fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. You gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. Don't worry, I'll take care of him.
Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get... that far. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why do you, um, why'd you do it? Just... My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm not going to defend myself. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We, we break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Sometimes they do. If you squint. Things line up. Not always, but sometimes. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? You are. I mean it. Okay, all right. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. This is... I want to... This is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but... It no, does. not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, this hasn't shaken anything loose or m made you made you sort of reconsider. No, I, I mean we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection. She sees like a bird assassin, and there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh. All right. Well, my mom was Methodist. My dad. Kinda didn't care, but tonight's kinda... I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it... Is that... Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Uh, Clarissa? Oh god, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Maybe they wanna... maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... trying to... whatever, to talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find... ...find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh... doing, hun? Alex, a little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you call down from there, please? <sighs> Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. What... What more can we do? We're barely holding on to What it. more can you do? You can do your job. That's just for starters. You can be what you signed up for. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she... Okay, or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner, 
And seeing you? That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. <sighs> the usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. There's no reason, Clarissa. Alex didn't cause this. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is, Clarissa, this is so, I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's. Enough, I mean it. Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know, I know it's okay, I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Oh, damn it. Yeah, she was just here. Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? You know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... Making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... It's not even our fault. We just... I mean, how does a radio have this sort of effect? On anything? It, it doesn't. It can't. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> All right, let's see if Rin's plan was a good one or not. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave Assisted Lock. Ah, they use, um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. Really? How does it work? I'm not entirely sure, but it looks pretty simple according to the, uh, thing here. You just tune into whatever the signal is, and, uh, that should be it. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. 
Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom... It should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What? what is that? Who, who's it for? To whom it should concern, it says right at the top. I have been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like... like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Huh? Wh what the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune to 140.1, and that will somehow lead us to, like, information or secret stuff or something. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomforted for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also Everything know that I acted today. in what Alpha. I felt were the November. best interests for all Echo. at the time, India. and truly Cuba. for the interest of Unicorn. time itself, Echo. and then it's... Yeah, there's no way I'm going back all over Everything the island to find today. Maggie's long-lost journal entries November. or jarred pickles Echo. or whatever is India. buried out there. Cuba. No, totally agree. Uniform. Echo. Eventually.